Here's a very late, literally a week out of date, AEW Collision Review. Uh, I have the time not to talk about this, so that's why we're doing this very late. Uh, collision kicked off with Radar Superstar Edge with a open challenger to cope open. Again, I'm not a fan of this. I'm not a fan of open challenges, especially with babyface champions. They do this nowadays every time in wrestling. It's very lazy and just makes no sense. And it just also kind of like makes Edge look weak when he's like almost like losing to somebody, especially when he's supposedly defending a title in the feud. And then he's doing it every week. It's like it makes no sense, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, just not found the open challenges. It's very predictable. He did face though, Matt Cardona. I've been wanting to talk about this for a week now. So Edge and Zack Ryder basically face each other. Get it? The Edge heads, and they mentioned how it's teacher versus student. Um. The match was actually not bad, man. It was looking, uh, you know, it was some, a match to look forward to. Um, it doesn't mean that Matt Cardona is signed to AEW or whatever, but it's just, it's just like, you know, he recently got this 9 AEW. But yeah, Edge did defeat Mark Cardona. Um, Edge won with the spear uh, and just was playing, went plain and simple. But the match was actually not too bad. I will give him that. I will give the match. The match was not too bad. I was intrigued of it because it was, you know, Zack Ryder. First match in AEW. Well, actually, no, he was already in AEW for some reason and stayed. But yeah, he lost it, you know. But that's the thing. Like, who really cares then if, like, Matt Cardona wrestled? Like, it's, you know, because that does ruin him. Like, bro, you lost. Like, who really cares? You know? I mean, whatever. I don't care. I mean, I'm happy Edge won. Anyways, Malachi Black shows up after a blackout. Um, Edge was about to get the miss, but then uh, he had to fight himself off. Um, basically, like, he got saved by Eddie Kingston and, uh, what's his name? Mark Briscoe. And, uh, yeah, from the House of Black. So, there you go. Uh, Billy Gunn says he's angry that Squishblade Jay White, uh, Jay White breaks into his house and challenges him to a match for next week's Dynamite, which I already reviewed. FTI won against the uh, Infantry, whatever, the f- some tag team that likes to rip off the... Yeah, another tag team that rips off crime time. Kyle Riley. The feet of a guy named JD Drake, and he just stands tall, like I don't know. Get it? He's their buds. Um, Adam Copeland, Eddie Kingston, Mark Briscoe, John's the House of Black on AW's Dynasty. Yeah, a six man tag match that could be on a dynamite is going to happen on a pay per view you have to pay for. You see, the difference with Edge teaming up with like Sting and Darby versus the Patriarchy that's a match that, like, at least has a story. Not just put together, and you care about a little bit of the star power, even though that match still kind of resembles a match that should be happening on a dynamite. But I don't mind, it's still a good match that happened on a pay per view. This match is a fucking legit dynamite match, or even a fucking collision shit. Why are we fucking gonna be forced to watch that shit on a come on here? Like, come on, but this is like this is uh, this is what they're doing at Edge as a fucking TNT champion. And, like, oh, he's, this is, like, is the most fun he's had. Like, come on here. Top flight defeats Ricky Starks and Big Bill. Supposedly there was a botch during this match where it looks like Starks was hurt or whatever. This was the highlight of the show, by the way. I wanted to talk about this, actually. This was the highlight. Donna Rosa defeats uh, Lady Frost, whatever. But after the match, Time is Tony Storm is informed that Donna Rosa will face Mariah May for next week. The number one contenders match. Tony kisses Mara to her getting to this point and sees something in her and she loves herself. HLA, ladies and gentlemen, I fucking love this shit. If only Tony Storm had her long hair. I love this. I love this. I love this. This is just some nonsense. Fucking Christopher Daniels challenges Malachi Black for God knows what reason. This is not for Dynamite. Who the fuck cares? And the main event, literally this match. Brian Danes and Claudio Castanoli and Kajosto, some, some fucking, the guy named Shavada defeats Lance Archer and the Righteous. Like, who the fuck cares? <laughs> what is that shit? Like, really? And this is our main event? Give me a fucking break. All right. Till next time. Peace. Yeah, bye. What a bunch of garbage shit. Like, only Edge was the star, along with the Adam, along, like, with the Cope Open with the Matt Cardona and that high HLA shit. You know what I mean? Let's go back to what was, like, the good part, you know? I mean, Edge is good, but let's go back to the real good part. Hell yeah, that's the rare shit I'm talking about.